From inside CenturyLink Arena, just finishing up Front Street Fights 20, Frost versus Saunders, and an exciting amount of action here on this October evening. Colin Chuck alongside Bellator Flyweight and Front Street Fights alumni Vita Ortega. Vita, this was a lot of fun tonight. Only six fights tonight, but a really good matchup of six fights that we saw from start to finish, amateurs and pros. Yes, they were all finishes except for one. That, that says a lot. And the only one coming as the first pro fight of the night. But we start back with the amateur fights. And starting off, the newcomer, Andrew Walker, taking on Elijah Dittenberg. And Dittenberg really had control throughout this entire fight. And that was the difference, just getting into that submission. Yes, he was able to take his back and secure that submission with 10 seconds left. You heard his coaches say 10 seconds, and he capitalized on that. And Walker just couldn't last out. We moved to the second one. And this one was a little bit different. Tristan Hutchinson, Briley Streeter. Hutchinson had the position for most of the fight, but it ended up being the triangle choke that allowed Streeter to get out of that and take down Hutchinson. Yes, um, Briley, like I said earlier before, he's really good on his back, and he made it seem like that was nothing after, after he had got that W. And then the final amateur fight of the night, Matt Cantwell against Tanner Chapman. This one also went down as a rear naked choke, and Cantwell, despite not having the size advantage, controlled this fight throughout and ended up getting the submission on Chapman. Right. Tanner was also looking for triangles on bottom, but Chapman's the one that came on top with the win this tonight. And this is the only fight then after the Cantwell-Chapman fight that went the full distance. Doug Collins and Ben Hollier. Now, this one was a bit different because Hollier controlled from start to finish. Collins couldn't really work out of any of the submissions that he was put into. Right. So Ben did a good job with throwing those mini elbows. That's what really got him that fight, is just making sure when he was staying on top to be inactive, that was key in Ben's fight tonight. And then the co-main event, a rematch 12, uh, seven years in the making. Dara Flores, Kerry Latimer, and Flores won this fight. He just was nonstop throughout the course of it. No, he was just ground and pound, settled in, hit him so hard his mouthpiece flew out in that blood right there. There's where that stoppage was. So Flores avenges that, improves to a 7-6 and six overall record against Kerry, the batterer Latimer, and then even after that, his buddy gets to propose after the win, setting up the main event. Kyle Frost and Gage Saunders, and Frost doing what he does best, rear naked choke. Yes, he, he didn't want Kyle to take his back, but unfortunately, you know, that's what happened tonight, and Kyle was able to stay uh, in that winning zone in his hometown. And he improves to 4-0 on that, too, and it helps that Kyle Frost just found his way in from start to finish to be able to get the win and stay undefeated. A reminder to follow along the Front Street Fight social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and even Snapchat for information coming up on Front Street Fights 21 and also any information related to Front Street Fights moving forward here at CenturyLink Arena. Well, it was a fun night. We hope you enjoyed it for Vita Ortega. I'm Colin Shuck signing off from downtown Boise. We hope you tune in next time back in January for Front Street Fights 21. Until then... Have a good evening.